Man, I say tonight, 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 under the moonlight.
commercialisé et ça a développé. C'est peut-être votre yo et ça va bon. Si yo a fait grand monde méchanceté, les yo besoin de fumer.
overseas of the Labour Party. Those are things I never see. Care for the elderly and for people of this country. Those are things I never see. So I'm calling on the people from the least to grand for. Come with me, let us go back Labour. If you want to see progress, don't give yourself stress. Come with me and let us go Needs to know that me and me neighbor, we voting for labor. 
Please join us on the stage as we are about to begin our rally at night in Sufuya. Heston Charles, if you are in my voice, kindly come to the stage as well. As we are about to begin our rally in the next five minutes, so I'm asking all of you at the back to please come closer 
as we're about to begin our rally here for the endorsement of the new child. Before we begin, drivers of vehicles TP226, that's TP226, and PR543, kindly have your vehicles 
relocated to the bus drivers of vehicles TP226 and PR5 for free. The police have asked that you have your vehicles relocated. So kindly have your vehicles relocated. Thank you very much. Followed by which we will repeat the Lord's Prayer. So let's all stand at attention 
for the first verse of our national anthem. Let's repeat all the Lord's prayer, our Father. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. DJ, ladies and gentlemen. We are going straight into our program this evening, and we will be getting two solidarity messages from two constituents here in the Sufuye constituency. And to deliver the first solidarity message, I invite to the podium none other than a pillar of labor here in the Sufuye constituency. Put your hands together for Mr. Conrad Caesar. Labor Party. Who we voting? Who we voting? Labor Party. Ah, who we voting? Who we voting? Labor Party. Oh, oh. Hey. Labor Party. Good night, good night, everyone from Sufre, Scott said, Galia Point Michel, and whoever came from elsewhere in Sufre, you are welcome in Sufre, the Labour City. Labour! Labour! Labor rights, we are in Sufria tonight, where you call the Sufria constituency. We are there to support our hard-working woman, a woman that need to get our support, a woman that means she wants to work, a woman that means she is ready to move. Tennis Charles. Honorable Tinnies Charles, and she will remain as Honorable Tinnies Charles. No one to change it. Mr. DJ? Labor rights. I am leaving you all a message tonight. Dominican Labor Party had come to Dominica in this country to deal with our affairs in Dominica. And under the Honorable Reverse Carrot as Prime Minister, to deal with the matters of Dominica, no one else could do it without him. And only him that will do what he do for Dominica and for us in Dominica. Labor rights, think of all your future. Think of all your children's future. Think of all your grandmother and mother and father and grandfather, auntie and uncle future. Under the Dominican Labor Party, Dominica have people to take care of their own family. 
formally under the Dominica Labour Party. We are there to support Dennis Charles. We are there to give Dennis Charles the mandate on the 6th of December 2022 to continue her hard work. We came there for us to stand on the ground tonight to let people and other people in Dominica understand we are there to give Honorable Dennis Charles the time and chance to run this constituency because she means well and she's ready to work and we have to work with her. She alone can work. One hand cannot clap. We have to put both hands together for us to clap. Let me see you all clap all your hands. You cannot bite your hand when the hand is feeding you into your mouth. You cannot run away from what you already see and what you have. When you run away from it, what you are going to receive? Let me tell you something, Labour Right. People that are at their home tonight, people that are listening over the radio station, people that are looking at Facebook, and I know Dominicans love to watch Facebook. Let me tell you all, tonight, the Dominican Labour Party has been well for Dominica. Let us think of what we've gone through, and let us think of today. If it wasn't the Dominican Labour Party, what could we do? We have to come together to work with the Dominican Labour Party. We have to give Dennis Charles the chance to run the Soufrié constituency. La Pointe, Kachaku, Soufrié, Galion. I want you all to understand, we don't have a long time. Don't forget, on the 6th of December, don't waste time. Don't waste all your energy. Put the strength and the good energy God will give to you on that day to go to all your polling station and put your ass by the shoe to give Dennis Charles and the Dominican Labour Party a chance to run the country. And you all will still have all your NEP to live a good life. Good night. I find Sufi a cold tonight, man. Come on, Mr. DJ, let's go, Mr. Yes, yes. The land of Kone Kona is Labor rights, I bring to you our next solidarity speaker. He represented the AUA for five years in Parliament. And tonight he is here to give an endorsement on behalf of Sister Denise Charles. Put your hands together for Mr. Sam Martin. Wow. Say we must win. Labor. Go on, get up. Labor. Go on. Thank you, 
Thank you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the DJ has that song. But I know last election we had that famous song, Yo Tooth Fu. So now we are in who withdrawing, who not sure what they do. So Yo Tooth Fu is a mess now, but that's a matter for them. But labor rights, let me welcome you to Sufria tonight. I decided a choice tonight because I feel that it's very important to be here tonight. I'm done with the flu, but I said, by the grace of God, I must get the strength to be here to endorse Dennis Charles. If we have to go, if we have to go by record alone, the Dominican Labour Party Honorable Dennis Charles and Roosevelt Skerritt should not be campaigning again because the work is clear to see. My fellow labor rights, my fellow labor rights, we have a future at stake. We have a future at stake and the future is in your hands. The future is in your hands. Because sometimes we say, no jage, no pagale vote. But on the 6th of December, we all are going out to send a very clear message to them that they are no longer wanted in Dominica. I spoke, I spoke to a friend of mine and she asked me whether the election is legal because there is no opposition leader. And um, what about if it's not? I said, no. Parliament dissolved. No minister. No opposition leader. What your party should do is to go and rebuild and come and put themselves on the ground. But that shows you, that shows you there is only one organized party in Dominica. is the Dominica Labour Party. Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Charles is a person with a lot of passion for people. Humility. And when people come to you and it's a fake, you can see it. She has that passion for the old and the youth and everybody. Please understand me. When persons come for being a pal rep or being a minister, it's not just a job or an opportunity. It's a service. She could have gone to other jobs. She could have stayed away and worked. But she said, no, she's coming back to serve her lovely people of the Sufria constituency and Dominica by extension. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I should mention that there. But when I spoke in Scott that I referred to her as the Next, deputy political leader. Anyway, that's for us, sir. Huh? So I'm telling you, that's the trust and the power we have in Dennis Charles. Dennis Charles is controlling the Ministry of Tourism, and their work is there today to see. Sometimes, sometimes we take things for granted. Sometimes we see free boats outside there, or we say the tourist isn't open. No, it's not just so. When we see you have a hundred people working for NEP in your village, you can be scary people say yes, but it takes a lot because it takes a lot of money, commitment, and dedication. And I can tell you, I can tell you, no other party, no other party is going to do that for us. The people of the Sufria constituency, I know you, and I know. When we heard about elections before, we referred to Postmorf as being a pillar. We referred to Grand Bay as being a pillar. We referred to Vakers on the Skerritt. I don't care what they think. No, Sufria is the pillar. Kiyo le Kiyo Pali, Sufria is the pillar. Kiyo Pali, Kiyo Pali, 
Having said that, having said that, I am counting on you. I am counting on you to go out. To go out on December 6th. The same way, the same way we call a friend for us to go in the blast. The same way we call a friend to go and take a drink. Tell the friend, Gasso, it is time for us to go and vote. Because I am telling you, I am telling you, we are seeing the benefits and the best is yet to come under the Dominican Labour Party. So my friends, I am leaving you with that. Make sure whatever constituency you come from, make sure you urge your supporters, your friends, your well-wishers, your family to go out and vote. And my people of the Sufria constituency, we have a gem in our hands in Dennis Charles. So we are going to make sure she continues to represent the Sufria constituency and the rest of Dominica. I thank you and good night. It's my PM for me. Yes. very much, Mr. Sam Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one more solidarity message. And this time, it is from a young lady here in this constituency. I invite to the podium, Miss Nadesh Pelty from Point Michel, LYU, to give us a solidarity message. youth organizations. This day served us as a reminder to all of us of the bravery and sacrifices made by the young people of this nation. As we support the goals and objectives of our Dominica Labor Party. On the island, we hear too often that the youth voice is weak and muffled. As we work to bring Dominica to its full potential, we hereby reassure our leaders that the future of this party is in strong and capable hands. Labor? Labor, labor, labor. Tell that to your neighbor. We, the upcoming leaders of tomorrow, pledge our allegiance to a party and a leader who has shown that the nation's youth is its foundation. As we go out on this quest to completely transform this treasure for the better, we promise to put in endless effort to make sure that the Dominican Labor Party wins yet another election. Labor, labor, labor. As a member of the Sufria El Wayo, we are dedicated to the goals and the cause of the Honorable Dennis Charles as she continues to fight for her people. We welcome everyone with open arms. Therefore, therefore we encourage the skeptics and cryptics to make the change. The Dominican Labour Party appreciates the importance of mercy and forgiveness, which is why we welcome people who have accepted the fact that the DLP is unquestionably the best and most devoted party in Dominican political history. Just like the saying, si umaye, de maye. Si Si umal vote, de vote yo, eve vote, Labour Party this election. We must put our best foot forward when it comes to our island's future. 
Too much progress has been made as a people for all our hard work and sacrifice to be in naught. We cannot allow individuals who misre misrepresent themselves as a statesman to rule our island because such a mistake will have a clear and disastrous results. Labor rights. I'd like to take this chance to personally urge all of the young people present and those listening to utilize services and resources made available by the Dominican Labor Party government. We support that the Dominican Labor Party government has gone above and beyond to preserve the economic stability so that we are well prepared for the working world. It is sometimes claimed that we mindlessly support. I beg you once more to rise above these remarks and maintain your composure as we prepare to roll with the biggest and the best party in Dominica, the Dominica Labor Party. The Sufria El Wayo have once more set the bar high for the greatness that is to come by acting with courage and excitement. Ladies and gentlemen, labor rights, it's evident from the focus displayed here today that our party recognizes the value of youth empowerment. Leaders that care about our followers and are self-assured enough to let the next generation take the leader. I'll leave you with this as we continue to recognize youth, youth achievements. The cornerstone of every state is the education of its youth because leadership is not about the upcoming election, but rather the subsequent generation. Thank you very much for your support. Let's continue to use the Dominica Labor Party's influence to help Dominica reach to its full potential. Let us go out December 6th and vote for Dennis Charles, the Dominica Labor Party. Labor, thank you. Labor Party. Who we voting? Who we voting? Labor Party. Ah, who we voting? Who we voting? Labor Party. Hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. Labor Party. Labor. Labor Party. Is the ex by the shoe for me? Who we put in? 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 Who we It is young people time. So when the young people come and support their power rep, we have to let them speak. And so we have one more youth speaker, Miss Rachel Andrew from the Sufuye LYO to endorse her parliamentary representative. Who we voting? 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 This is what you call labor power. I see red deer, red deer, red everywhere. Who we put in? Who we put in? Labor party. Let us show them our 
more power in the Sufria constituency. Blow your horn. Pleasant good evening to the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, parliamentarians, the PAL rep for the Sufria constituency, who have been there and who continue to be there for us. Dennis Charles, candidates, and to you, labor rights. Welcome to the best village in the Nature Isle, home to Jungle Bay, Dominica, Kulibri Ridge, and the biggest, baddest seafood lime in Dominica, Kone Kola Wife. Welcome to Sufria, the number one dive and kayaking sport in Dominica. Brothers and sisters, I am not much of a public speaker, but I could not pass up on the opportunity to speak on behalf of a lady who continues to guide, mentor, and support not only me, but the other young people of Sufria, Scott said, Galio and Point Michel. <laughs> Dennis Charles shows up for us every time and has displayed what it truly means to be a representative for the people in parliament, in government, and on the grounds. The people of the constituency know that they can count on Dennis Charles to be there when it matters most. Dennis Charles has been tested by Hurricane Maria and COVID-19 pandemic, and still she continues to deliver for us with determination and a commitment to the well-being of every person in the constituency. Brothers and sisters, take a look around. Scroll through her social media pages. Our health center is not coming anymore. It is here. Work is ongoing on the Sufria playing field. And the Point Michel multi-purpose hard court is near completion. We don't have one, but two jetties in the Sufria constituency. Where housing and security of our people is of concern. Over 30 keys have been handed over to families who either lost their homes during Hurricane Maria or were in great need of a shelter. And currently, two major housing projects are ongoing in Point Michel and Scott Z. My people, this is a leader who is looking out for the best interests of her community and her people. Under the leadership of Dennis Charles, the villages of Sufria and Scott Z were brought alive with the return of Kone Kola. Kone Kola, we say, puts money in our people's pockets, food on their tables, and pay for their children's education. And on December 10th, all roads lead to Galio for Kone Kola, we say, Crab Fest Edition. When it comes to representation, Dennis Charles comes second to none. A leader who cares for the children, the youth, and the elderly. Dennis Charles doesn't see blue, red, yellow, or orange. If you need assistance and she can help, she will help you. 
she is still the best choice for the Sufria constituency. Labour is still the best choice. Let our voices be heard on December 6th. We have to stay focused on our goals to transform the Sufria constituency into a tourism maker. Let's give her the five years she deserves. Labour! Thank you. constituency. Ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker is no stranger to the political platform. In fact, he has represented the Rosso Central constituency in Parliament, and today he holds the office of Speaker of the House of Assembly. Put your hands together for the Honorable Joseph Isaac. Let me hear you now on the right side. Labor! Left side. Labor! Let's go together. Let us hear you in point, Michelle. Labor! 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 Labor position, not be. Oh, yeah, it's something else. Yes, yes. A very special, special good evening to all of you here in Sufria and those of you listening via radio and social media. Tonight, it I'm very, very delighted and it gives me the deepest of pleasure to be able to be sharing the platform with my sister, Dennis Charles. I've known Dennis for over eight years now, personally and professionally, and as a comrade. I remember meeting Dennis on a campaign trail, sitting down on a block, reasoning with guys. Dennis has always been about people. Always been about people. Dennis is a compassionate person. I don't have to tell you this. You know this. Do you agree? Do you agree? Dennis is caring. When I met Dennis, I thought I was a hard worker. Until I meet Dennis, Dennis is a dynamo woman. And Dennis remind me, Dennis remind me of the great Eugenia Charles. And we must see that the Sufria constituency has a great future in the person of Dennis Charles. My people here, I do not want you to say that Labour has already won in the Sufria constituency. I don't want you to say that because we should not take anything for granted. I think when somebody is working hard, we must reward that person. Dennis Charles has shown excellence as a minister of government. Dennis Charles has shown excellence as a pal rep, one of the best pal reps in the history of Dominica. Give me a round of applause for a great woman. Hard work is not only just in the Sufria constituency. Hard work is across Dominica with all the Dominica Labour Party candidates. And therefore, 
Therefore, I want everybody in Dominica to rally behind your candidate in every constituency because we want 21 seats in Dominica election. The Labour Party is a caring party. The pal reps we have are caring people. Whether you call Rosa Central, Rosa Central, let me hear you! Whether you look at Rosa North, Rosa North, let me hear you! Rosa Valley, anywhere you go across Dominica, we have hard working representatives representing the Dominica Labour Party. The Labour Party has its philosophy, a philosophy of upliftment of people, taking you from one stage to a higher stage. The other side, they do not have any clear philosophy, any clear political or socio-political philosophy. What they have done over and over is abandon their people, abandon Dominica, and abandon their constituency, and abandon one and each and each of each of all each other. That's what they have been doing. But here in the Dominica Labour Party, what you have is a brotherhood of love. A brotherhood of love where we are together working with each other. And therefore, I'm asking you across Dominica, you have to make a choice. But the choice is not difficult. You have to vote for one party, the Dominica Labour Party, because Labour is still the best choice. When you look at the leaders in the history of Dominica, Skerritt, Roosevelt Skerritt is still the greatest leader and the best leader. He stands out among all the rest. Give us a shout out to our leader wherever he is to hear him. Shout out! So on December 6th, on December 6th, we have no choice but to put our vote by the shoe. We have no choice but to put our vote in Sufre constituency for Dennis Charles, our sister, Deno. Who you want in Sufre? Who you want in Sufre? Let me tell you something. When I watch the crowd, all I'm seeing is people from this constituency. So let me tell you something. Let them hear you in Roseau. Who do you want? Are you going to vote for Dennis Charles? Do you want Dennis Charles? Do you love Dennis Charles? Do you want the Dominican Labour Party? Do you want Ruth vs. Garrett? Let me tell you something. This is a brotherhood of love. Love. Thank you, my people. Have a great night. A great night. One love. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Ay, 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 ay. Dini Zange. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Ay, 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 ay. Dini Zange. Rap, 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 rap. much mr dj thank you very much labor rights we always want to tell you how much we appreciate you for turning out night in and night out to our rallies at the various localities across the island without your support the dominican labor party would not be the great institution that it is and we always want to tell you how much we love and appreciate you turning out in large numbers to give us the support ladies and gentlemen I present to you our next speaker. He is a former member of parliament 
for the Pirit Savan constituency. He has built an entire new community for the residents of Pirit Savan. And he has passed on the battle to the new parliamentary representative of that constituency. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Honorable Dr. Kenneth Daru. Thank you, Cousin Kelber. Labor rights. I know it's raining. Labor rights. Thank you. Let me, of course, recognize my parliamentary representative elect, Honorable Julian Defoe. <laughs> other candidates, other speakers, of course, the former Speaker of the House. My friend and brother, Dr. Henderson. I see my other sister, Mrs. Shakira Hippolyte Lockett. Lockett Hippolyte, sorry. And of course, the reason why we're here this evening, my friend and sister from the South, Honorable Dennis Charles, looking very pretty as always. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Really, really, and truly, after listening to the young ladies from the Sufri LYU, and in particular, Miss Andrew, there's very little left to say. So, Mr. Manager, I think we should call up the meeting. Very little left to say. But that's the power of labor, ladies and gentlemen. The power of labor youth. So put your hands together for these dynamic young people of the Sufri constituency. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you greetings from the Pilot Servant constituency, where our candidate has already been declared the winner. Right here, Honorable Julian Defoe. Because they know that whether they sent up a UWP, a UWP candidate or any other candidate parading as an independent one, they would have gotten a song leaking, ladies and gentlemen. So they saved themselves the embarrassment and did not even bother send someone. Because Julian told them in no uncertain terms, term, sorry, don't waste your time. Pa Gaspi, turns out, ladies and gentlemen, in Pilot Savan. But I'm here in solidarity with my friend and sister, Dennis Charles. A friend and sister that I've had the privilege serving with for the past two terms. And I have no doubt, absolutely no doubt, that you, the wonderful people of Scott's Head, Galion, Soufrier, Point Michel, will re-elect her to serve you for a third term, ladies and gentlemen. Labor, 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 labor. Her work in the constituency speaks for itself, from housing to a new health center, from job creation and empowerment to critical infrastructure, such as not one, but two jetties to facilitate fish landing and other marine activities. In fact, I asked her once whether she should have given me one for Stowe Estate, but that's another story. So ladies and gentlemen, she has delivered for the people of this constituency without a doubt, which is why come December 6th, there is no other choice in the Sufria constituency but Miss Dennis Charles, ladies and gentlemen. My message tonight to you, the residents of the constituency, the voters, is very simple. In fact, I have three simple but very important messages for you. Number one, the Dominican Labor Party is going to win the next election, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to win the next election. There is no doubt about it. We already have six seats called for labor, and we have more than a fair chance of winning the remaining 15 seats, ladies and gentlemen. So, the decision that you, the voters here, have to make here in Sufria, the Sufria constituency that is, is whether or not you would like this seat to remain with Dennis Charles and the Dominican Labour Party so that the great work that she has started can be continued, or whether or not you want to gamble with your future 
and put in someone that doesn't know whether she's coming or going, ladies and gentlemen. She doesn't know whether she belongs to any political organization or not, because you all know the drama and the roro with her APP. We're not even sure if this APP Bebel story exists anymore, because that is all it was, APP, a Bebel story, ladies and gentlemen, a group of people playing what we call Bebel. But as our leader always says, a political party is a serious organization, one that is always or should be always ready to take over the reins of power whenever that opportunity presents itself. And this young lady, whatever her name is, is not a part of any serious political organization, but rather part of the dozens of splinter groups from the very same UWP who have one thing and only one thing in common, that is to see the back of Roosevelt's carriage and the Dominican Labour Party, ladies and gentlemen. Number two, we need you to show up to vote on December 6th. Each and every registered voter, please, 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 do not assume that Dennis has already won and she does not need your vote. We need to teach the enemies of labor a song lesson that we are returning the DLP to power with a song majority, not just in terms of number of seats won, but by a song majority of the popular vote cast, ladies and gentlemen. We need to send a clear message to the enemies of progress, both here and overseas, and to the international community that this Roosevelt's carried led DLP is still the best choice for Dominica. And we need to do that in no uncertain terms, ladies and gentlemen. Last election, from my figures, Dennis blew away what his name, Dr. Christian. I don't know who Mr. is out, doctor there. But anyway, that's another story. By 750 votes, if I'm correct. What a beating that was. But this time, I want the Sufre people to let Dennis win by over a thousand votes, ladies and gentlemen. And we can do it if all of us show up to vote come December 6th. Because Dennis has been there for you through thick and through thin, through Hurricane Maria, where this constituency suffered major infrastructural damage and loss of life. And from what I recall, Point Michel was the first, if not the first community, to benefit under our sustainable housing program, ladies and gentlemen, to bring relief to the folks who lost their homes during Maria. Through the COVID-19 pandemic, she has been by your side, ensuring that each and every one of you was touched with supplies and other form of relief where needed. Job opportunities among others. There is no argument that my sister, Dennis Charles, has delivered to you the people of the Sufria constituency. In fact, many times I would tell Dennis at cabinet to chillax, relax Dennis, take it easy. There are other constituencies in Dominica. I used to tell her to let the PM brief Dennis because every opportunity she got, she would be harassing the man for projects and for assistance for her constituents. PM having his lunch in cabinet, she not giving the man a chance to enjoy his broth. She buy him with a big folder of documents. I mean, come on, Dennis. Who does that? Who does that, Dennis? So please show up to vote. They have decided not to participate in the elections, but they are hoping that our support will, our supporters, sorry, will become complacent and not show up to vote and send the wrong message. They have already lost the argument of the legitimacy of the elections, ladies and gentlemen, labor rights. In fact, one of the very own told them at that famous press conference that there is nothing illegal about a snap election. Tiani Bianzi, or whatever his name is, an attorney at law and a known UWP supporter told that to them that the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Dominica, our supreme law, gives the Honorable Prime Minister the powers to call elections at any time labor rights. So do not be fooled by the gimmick. And we saw, and we saw what happened to Tiani. If Afima, if Afima Tessari had gotten a chance, he would have knocked out Tiani with his walking stick, ladies and gentlemen, at this press conference. But it's not our fault that they were caught without pants and without underwear, ladies and gentlemen. It's not our fault that months after the leader resigned, that they could not find it within themselves to regroup and put their party together. Ladies and gentlemen, as my friend and brother said, Sam Martin, 
This speaks volumes to the character of the UWP. They cannot even organize themselves, but they want to run a whole country, especially in these trying times. So they are hoping that you stay home and only a handful of you go to vote so they can plead their case out there about the validity of your government. So we need you to go out and vote, 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 like your lives depended on it, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, yes, your lives depend on it, because come December 7th, we need a clear mandate to continue on the path of progress that we are on. Number three and lastly, ladies and gentlemen, do not be fooled by this so-called independent candidate. I mean, let's face it, what can an independent candidate do for you? Someone who doesn't belong to any political family, no leader, no membership, nothing. What do you expect someone like whatever her name is to do for you by people of Sufriere? And we have to call her out come December 6th. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, labor rights friends all, I have been with some of you within the past couple of weeks, and you have indicated to me your satisfaction with the Dominican Labor Party, your satisfaction with the Honorable Prime Minister, and your satisfaction with your parliamentary representative. We have also taken note of the things that you need to be addressed and areas that you need to see improvement, and we will do just that. So come December 6th, labor rights, I know it's raining. When the ballots are counted, like we've done for the past five elections or so, the paid servant train will be waiting for you at the Lubia Junction, ladies and gentlemen, to join my other sister, Shakira, at Newton. And together we head to wherever it is the celebration will be taking place. Because I'm confident that the entire southern belt of Grand Bay, Pitted Servant, Sufria, and Rosa South we remain red, red, red with labor. Because we in the South know that labor is not just still the choice, it is the only choice. I thank you for listening to me. And vote then is come December 6th. Thank you very much. Mr. DJ, labor rights, are you ready for December the 6th? Welcome December the 6th, we have to turn out in large numbers so that once again we can give the Dominican Labor Party a clear mandate to continue the governance of this country. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have with us the Grand Pal Rep, a powerful woman, a woman who has represented the Rosa South constituency with distinction. And tonight, she is here to endorse her sister and friend. Put your hands together for the Honorable Shakira Lockhart Hippoli. Dennis Charles, that I love this constituency so much that she must give me one of the houses that she building for all you in the Sufre constituency. I bid you greetings.
from the Rosa South constituency. And the people of Rosa South have said to me that on December 6th, we will be celebrating with our brothers and sisters from the Sufria constituency. Labor! I'm not feeling my best this evening, but I could not miss the endorsement of my sister and my friend, Honorable Dennis Charles. Dennis Charles and I have grown to be very good friends. We share a lot of secrets, brothers and sisters. And I can say to you that Dennis has helped me as a parliamentary representative. She has... Dennis has helped me to grow. She has taught me what it is to be a good representative. And I, as the pal rep from Rosa South, always look upon Dennis Charles, brothers and sisters. And you have a good representative. You have good representation. I remember, and if history, history has told us that you all were all freedomites. And you all listen to the great Mamo. And Mamo said to you all to vote the Dominica Labor Party. And today, this constituency has stayed with Labor. And I am here to tell you tonight, just as Dame Eugenia Charles was an iron lady, you have an iron lady in Dennis Charles. Sometimes I wonder how Dennis does it. From time she wakes up in the morning, after she prays, because she's a very prayerful individual, Dennis hits the ground running. Dennis is on the ball every single day, not only for the Sufre constituency, but Dominica by, by extension. I have seen Dennis several occasions in meetings. Sometimes I have to say to Dennis because we work hand in hand together. I have to say to her, Dennis, I have a constituency to go to, and you're calling meetings from morning to evening. But she cares about you, the people of Sufria and Dominica. If it weren't for Dennis Charles, we would not have seen the improvement at the Douglas Charles Airport. If it weren't for Dennis Charles, we would not see the cable car that we're going to build in the valley. If it wasn't for Dennis Charles, we would not see the improvement in tourism, brothers and sisters. If it weren't for Dennis Charles, the new seaport, brothers and sisters, will not be a reality. If it weren't for Dennis Charles, the success that we had in October for the World Crayon Festival would not have been. We saw the amount of people that visited our shores during the World Creole Festival, and that is the work of your pal rep, Honorable Dennis Charles. Labor! Who we voting? Who we voting? Who we voting? Who we voting? Dennis knows what you need, the people of the Sufre constituency. Dennis is very passionate about tourism and she wants to make but she keeps saying you know but she wants to make the Sufre constituency the tourism capital of Dominica and I know Honorable Dennis Charles will do so. Labor! Honorable Dennis Charles she cares about the fishing industry because you all are a fishing community. I know the amount of assistance she has given to the fishermen of this community. 
They have gotten boats, brothers and sisters. They have gotten engines, brothers and sisters. And to the envy of many, they have gotten two jetties, brothers and sisters. Labor! So that is the type of representation that you have in the Soufrier constituency. You have a lady that is hardworking. You have someone who is committed. You have someone who has been working for you day and night, brothers and sisters. And you all have said to me that no independent candidates under the cover of they don't even know what they are. If they are APP, if they are blue, if they are green, they do not know what they are, brothers and sisters. And the people of Sufre have said to me that they are not going to stand for that commerce, brothers and sisters. You all have told me that you want progress. You want continued transformation in the Sufre constituency. And the only person that can bring that transformation and progress to you is Deno, brothers and sisters. Someone just said in the crowd, that is the best pal rep, and I am then dosing that Dennis is the best pal rep. So, the people of Soufrié, I do not want you to say that you have won already. The only way you're going to beat that blue independent and send that independent candidate to no man's land is by going out in your large numbers on December 6th and casting that vote by Dennis Charles. This election, Jasufrié, is about you. It's about Dominica. And I do not want you to stay home. I would like all the labor rights here to go out and cast their vote. Those of you who made the mistake last election and voted for the UWP, we are calling you on board. We are calling you on board to support Dennis because many of you have said to me, if it wasn't for Dennis, Plenty things would not have happened in that constituency. Even those in opposition, even those in opposition know about the work of Deno. Even those in opposition know about the work of the Dominican Labour Party. So do not play with your votes. Let your votes be counted, the people of Soufrié. Go out and exercise your democratic right, brothers and sisters, and put your eggs by the shoe. Labor! Now, our Prime Minister did not set that put post. Our Prime Minister did not push that reset button for nothing. You all know what we have been through as a country. Between 95 and 2000, we faced Hurricane UWP. And today, we are still paying for debts and loans that the UWP took, brothers and sisters. We went through Tropical Storm Erica. Then Hurricane Maria. And who was there for you during Hurricane Maria? Let me hear you. It was Danny Charles you saw 
after Hurricane Maria. Dennis Charles was not even a member of parliament, brothers and sisters. She was a pal rep working at Petro Carib, and Dennis covered many roofs in your constituency. She built many homes, brothers and sisters. And when I drive through the Soufre constituency, Point Michel in particular, every single road in that constituency has been rehabilitated because of Dennis Charles. Following that, in 2020, hurricane, not sorry, COVID-19 hit us. Right after we were sworn in as a cabinet after the 2019 elections. Who did you see? The people of the Sufre constituency. Who we voted? Who we voted? It was Dennis Charles and the Dominica Labour Party. So, the Prime Minister has pushed the reset button. We have faced many challenges, brothers and sisters, but we are on a path of upward mobility, brothers and sisters. We are seeing the progress and transformation in the Sufre constituency and Dominica by extension. Labour! And with that reset button that was pressed by the Prime Minister, it's forward we go in labor rights. We are moving forward. We are moving forward with Dennis Charles and the Dominica Labor Party. Labor! So, my final words. And I want to stress on these words. Go out on December 6th, labor rights. Go out early and put your eggs by that shoe because I know the Sufre constituency will be the first announced for the Dominica Labor Party. So I urge you, to give my sister and my friend Dennis your unwavering support like you have done in the past. Those of you, those of you who are disgruntled for whatever reason, Dennis will take care of you. She has, she has always taken care of her people and she will continue to do so. One love, brothers and sisters. May God bless you. May God bless your families. Labor! I can feel you tonight, labor rights, here in this constituency. Ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker, he's from the neighboring constituency. He is the parliamentary representative elect for the Petit Seven constituency. Put your hands together for the Honorable Julian Defoe.
Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Especially a special good evening to my fellow constituents from the Petit Seven constituency. Every evening I get more emotional when I come out with them. The group has been with me non-stop, growing every time, and we are offering support to every single candidate in every part of Dominica, and everybody know that, and everybody have been seeing that. So good evening tonight. Also, I want to say safe journeys to the Prime Minister. He's not here, so I, I cannot um, directly acknowledge him, but I know he's on his way somewhere from Portsmouth to this area. I would like to acknowledge Mrs. Melissa Skerritt, the wife of the Prime Minister, Mrs. Shakira Lockhart, a stalwart, Mr. Dr. Vince Henderson, my, parliament, my former parliamentary representative, Dr. Daru, who was on stage tonight, and all of the fellow Labour constituents from the Sufre constituency, thank you for turning out and welcome. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I want to offer a special, special greetings from the deputy people of the Casabus constituency, especially from San Sove. And the reason why I'm saying that, I came here directly from San Sove. I didn't even have the time to go home working with the Honorable Octavia Alfred. So when people talk about people who are dedicated to work, I left my home at 7 a.m. this morning, and this is where I ended up tonight, ladies and gentlemen. However, the moment tonight is for our dear Dennis Charles. Though many people say I'm a new politician, but perhaps I am the oldest politician here together with the Prime Minister because I started my journey of serving the government of Dominica as a public servant on December 12, 2000. And from since on, I have been serving diligently I have met and known every single politician here and worked with them. So, from beyond every pal rep, beyond every minister, they are the people who are supposed to make their dreams come true. And I'm like the elf in the background. When Dennis Charles has a dreams and vision for the, for the Sufre constituency in terms of the marine environment, all of the developments you have seen, they are people to make it happen, and I have always been there. There are many prolific speakers tonight, my dear, those before me and those who will come after me, who will speak about matters of the economic, of the economy, macroeconomics, achievements of the Nomerica Labour Party, because they have been there before me in government. But to put focus tonight on the Sufria constituency and to help my dear sister Denise, I want to focus on a special demographic, a special set of people who are dear to my heart throughout my career, which are the fishermen and to remove any doubts on polling day that they should turn to Dennis Charles. Between Point Michel to Scott's Head, we have over 100 registered fishers, brothers and sisters, each and everyone whom I know personally and have interacted with personally and have engaged with personally. So this is one, over 100 people I am dedicated to Dennis that I'm going to bring for her on December 6th. The communities of Scott's Head was among the most affected post Hurricane Maria. Tremendous devastation in the fisheries sector, fisheries infrastructure, their locker rooms were all blown away, you can see in Scott's Head. Boats, engines, ladies and gentlemen. But today, we, we have seen a massive influx of investment towards helping these people. And all of these investment have to be led by the PAL rep, Dennis Charles. And government has responded to the call. And in my position of chief, as Chief Fisheries Officer in my past profession, because I have resigned to take on a new mandate, I have did everything single possibly to help Dennis Charles. I remember the very first time she called my phone. I wonder, why is the minister calling me? Because you know, usually you are afraid you have demands that you cannot respond to. 
And she would always call me to make note of constituents, of fishermen in her constituency who she felt was left out from a development program, who was left out from a relief, pro a relief program. And at every attempt and at every call, I have done my utmost best to make sure whoever she has identified was dealt with. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the fishery sector, we have seen many developments in the Sufria constituency. One of the most important developments has been the, the development of the Petrocaripoli fuel station in Scotshead. Before this fuel station in Scotshead, fishermen had, from Sufria, Scotshead had to travel all the way to Castle Comfort or even Roseau to purchase fuel. Under the Dominican Labour Party, and also maybe her leadership even before in politics as, as, as an employee of Petro Carib, we ensure that there were five fuel stations set up and Scott had been one of them, ladies and gentlemen. Support to the fishermen in terms of infrastructure, equipment, ice machines, coolers, all manner of equipment that will make the job a lot easier. All of this with the assistance and the push and the hard work of the Honorable Dennis Charles. Post Hurricane Maria, we saw major injection and very quick injection of capital to support the livelihoods of fishers. One of the first being, ladies and gentlemen, the cash grant program. And when we roll out the cash grant program, $10,000 for fishers who, are, who were full-time in the industry and $3,000 for fishers who were part-time, Dennis Charles made sure that every deserving individual in her entire constituency received that package. And I was there, I was there for every step handling that program and to make sure that everybody that she requested, and we did our due diligence, it's not just request, that they receive the assistance Required, ladies and gentlemen. And this was over 100 individuals. So this show you, it matches. I told you we have over 100 registered fishers and over 100 of these individuals got their package. Every single one of them. Even before we had any major assistance program, Dennis Charles had her very own. So one of the first packages that came to fishers, brothers and sisters, was delivery of fishing boats and engine before the World Bank project. Dennis had her own package, so her own funding from the state, and made sure that individuals could return to their occupation in the quickest possible time before anywhere else in the country. Under the recovery program, on the Dominica Emergency Resilience Livelihood Project, many fishers from the Sufria constituency got benefits. All right? 22 fishers from the constituency received brand new outboard engines. And this made up 20% of the total amount of engine given to the entire country. So if anybody knows numbers very well, you would know that 20% of a whole for an entire country is a large quantity of engines, only to the Sufria constituency, ladies and gentlemen. Coming, co coming soon, in the first quarter of 2023, we will see the second half of this package, which is boat to fishermen who have lost their boats and have not been assigned any assistance. In total, in total, the package will be 50 free boats under the Dilkrep project, the World Bank funded project, ladies and gentlemen. Again, again, the Sufre constituency will secure over 22 percent, over 20 percent, 22 percent to be exact, of all the boats to be constructed, which amount to about 12 boats, ladies and gentlemen. And out of the six boat builders that has been pre-selected and approved to construct, one of the most prolific boat builders hails from the Sifre constituency we all know as Danny Boy or Daniel Fermin by his real name. <laughs> 
I heard other speakers talk about development in the Sivra constituency under the leadership of the Honorable Dennis Charles. Two jetties, one in Sufria, one in Scott's Head. But I want to also say to them, this is not all. And sometimes in the constituency you will hear people say that, oh, maybe the Germans is the one who funded the, the, the Sufria jetty. Or maybe another individual who is close to the community funded in Scott's Head. But as we have heard, ladies and gentlemen, nobody can come to work in a constituency or in a country without the blessing of the government. And the government as we know it today is the Dominican Labour Party government. Nobody can come to work in a constituency and do development on their own without the blessing of the parliamentary representative. So even though the funding may have come somewhere, but somebody has to lead the charge to get this funding. And in addition to all of this funding, though they may be externally funded, what of us do not know that many times our own ministries and government has to create sometimes equal funding to make the project happen. And many times that, that story does not come out. So we may hear that the Germans may have given one million, not knowing that our government also contributed one million. The Sufria constituency, Scott Z, Sufria, Point Michel, has always been one of the most prolific areas in terms of fisheries production. And for those of us who think that fisheries is a job that is set aside for people who have nothing else to do, my ladies and gentlemen, you are very wrong. Fisheries is now big business, and fisheries is now supporting the livelihoods of many homes. Fishermen now can pack their vehicles on the bay. Fishermen now can take mortgages. Fishermen now can send their children to school without having to ask the pile rep for a dime. So I'm telling you today, if you think that fisheries is a small business to set on the side for people who do not go to school or did not go to school, you are very wrong. And I will tell you to take a look at the fishermen of Scott's Head and go and look at their homes and go look at their, their vehicles, ladies and gentlemen. And further opportunities are coming for the fishermen of the Sufria constituency. My last official assignment, ladies and gentlemen, was the opening of the Rosa Fisheries Complex. This Rosa Fisheries Complex, as the name determines, is in Rosso. But this is a national facility. This is a facility to take the fisheries sector to the next level. This is a facility that is going to ensure that all of the fish landed by the fishers in the, in the Sufria constituency can be absorbed immediately without having to waste any of their time driving around Dominica, selling the fish at a much reduced price. There will be a marketing agency, there will be a management company to take their fish, all of it if they wish to, and export it when necessary, but not forgetting that we have to cater to the domestic market also. And I would not want to leave to address another major sector. For many of us who have been hearing about the blue economy, sometimes some people advise me, do not use certain words. Um, and also, that torments me very much and makes me feel bad because it makes me feel like sometimes our public is not educated, our public does not understand. But I want to tell you today, by speaking to everyone and meeting everyone, we have a highly educated public, so therefore, we should expect that they should understand everything I say. And ladies and gentlemen, the blue economy means that we have to use our marine environment to do much more for our economy and for more greater economic development other than just fishing. And right here in the Sufia Scott's head, we have demonstrated that the blue economy is alive. There is much more money to come from the sea and just the fishing community, okay? So as we know, the Sufia area is housed to one of the most important environmental marine parts that nobody sometimes knows about and that has to change, which is the Sufria Scotshead Marine Reserve. One of the only, one of the only marine reserve in the Commonwealth of Dominica, established since 1998. A designated area, something that the Sufria area, Scotshead, Galion, Point Michel should be very proud of. 
but this area can create a lot much more opportunity for the thriving tourist market in the Sufria constituency, ladies and gentlemen. In the coming year, working together with the PAL rep, whatever portfolio I may get, the marine life fishermen will never be from, far from my heart. And I will ensure that the economy of Sufria's Corset is further strengthened by having more yacht arrivals, okay? By having more yacht arrivals, deployment of moorings so that these yachts can be safely stored to patronize the bars and the increasing business in the area. Sufria's Corset is where we have more than 90% of all the scuba diving activities in the water sports industry, ladies and gentlemen. And those of us who know that increasingly, water sport activities is one of the number one things that is attracting tourists to Dominica. And not only that, it is, a, it is, a, it is an, your ordinary type of tourist. It is your very high-end tourists which are being, bringing a high-value product and a high returns, ladies and gentlemen. So just before I leave, I know have, I have gone beyond my time. But I, I needed to say all of that so as to get an appreciation and understanding of the character of the Honorable Dennis Charles. Because all of these things have to happen with people who have the passion and who have the will to get what they want for their constituency. Nothing comes to us, nothing is for free without putting our own determination. So I want to end by saying I fully endorse Honorable Dennis Charles long before I was on this platform. I fully hope that every individual will turn out on December 6th. And I fully hope that I can entice, encourage each and every single one of these over 100 registered fishers to throw your support beyond Dennis Charles and be one of the first set of people to be at the polls on December 6th. Thank you very much. After such a profound presentation, you can see labor rights that you are in good hands. And the fishermen of this country, you are in good hands with labor. Rosa Central, I see you. <laughs> and I present our next speaker. The parliamentary representative for the Rosa Central constituency. Put your hands together for the Honorable Melissa Popon Scary!
The Sufria constituency, to me, embodies the true essence of our Dominican spirit. You are proud. You are industrious. You are patriotic people. And I feel privileged to be among you tonight. I want to say to you, thank you so much for your warm welcome and for your staunch support, for your unwavering support for the Dominica Labour Party over the years. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are here in full support of our sister, Denise Charles. A shining example of youthful and effective representation. Denise is a go-getter, a woman who knows how to get things done, a woman who performs miracles in the Ministry of Tourism. Who we voted? Who we voted? What seemed to be impossible, she made it possible. And ladies and gentlemen, over the past two terms, she has stood by your side in good times and in bad times. Who we vote in? Who we vote in? Vote As a young parliamentarian, I have been inspired by her fearlessness and her hands-on approach to representation. Denise Charles is one of the best examples of dependable leadership in this Dominica Labour Party team. In her, you have representation who is in tune with your needs in every part of this constituency. And she is not a spread to, afraid to speak up for you on your behalf. Like you, the farmers, the fishermen, the single mothers, the elderly, the bar and the snacket owners of this constituency, the young people, she boasts to me all the time about her LYO. Denise is hardworking and committed. Who we voted? Who we voted? Thursdays, her constituency day. Don't even try calling Denise to do anything other than getting in her constituency to do the work of the people. This is the most important day on her calendar. I have seen her many times forego other important events just to ensure that she was on the ground in La Puerte, or Scott said, or Galia, or Sufria to meet with you and to assure that you come first. Who we voted? Who we voted? At heart, at heart, Denise is a true Point Michelle girl. Yes! And she wears her love her, and her admiration for her people and community with pride. Ladies and gentlemen, your parliamentary representative also has the full confidence and the backing of Roosevelt's carrots and the Dominica Labour Party. Ladies and gentlemen, during one of our toughest periods, when COVID-19 threatened to bring the global economy crashing down, Denise Charles stood tall as tourism minister, representing the whole country. Under her leadership, visitors kept coming in as part of the Safe in Nature 
work in nature campaigns. I even heard she's coming out with romance in nature, shop in nature, marry in nature, look for your partner in nature, everything in nature. As soon as it was safe to travel freely, the cruise sector was up and running in no time. While COVID-19 raged, Dominica launched a complete rebrand of its tourism product. It's already proven to be a success as more and more visitors are attracted to our island. In Denise Charles, you have a working power rep and a working and effective government minister. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is no other choice. These are the reasons why on December 6th, your only option is Denise Charles and the Dominica Labour Party. <laughs> You must, you must go to the polls to give your clear endorsement of the work that this power rep is doing in Sufria as part of the dynamic Dominica Labour Party team. On December 6th, you have to remember what you are voting for, you know. You're not voting for empty promises. Because she has a track record and you have seen it. You are voting for continued development of housing in your constituency. This has started with the construction of the housing complex in Scotshead and another in Point Michel. You will be voting for improved health care which has already gotten a major boost with the completion of the Sufria Health and Wellness Center. A new resource center and shelter is on the cards for Gallia and in Sufria and Scott's Head, the fishers will benefit from a number of upgrades to increase their cash income and their catch. I can already point to the recently completed Sufria jetty and the slipway which is planned for Scott's head. Labour! The elderly among you can attest to the care that you have received from this Labour Party government under the leadership of Roosevelt Skerritt whether in the form of the 300 monthly contribution to cover your basic needs or the home assistance under the Yes We Care program. Your children are receiving assistance in the early childhood to tertiary level to access education and build a solid foundation for future success. The hundreds of young people throughout this constituency are enjoying a steady income and learning valuable skills as part of the National Employment Program. Labor rights. When we consider all of this, can there be any doubt in your mind that labor is still the best choice for the Sufre constituency and Dominica? In the new term, we will continue to empower our people with even greater access to education, financial and technical assistance to launch and expand their small businesses, and jobs, 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 more jobs coming your way. Labor! In agriculture, in fisheries, tourism, the digital economy, and with the construction of major infrastructure, this government has set the stage for sustained 
economic growth. We have reconfigured our team for the task of taking Dominica forward. Our team offers stability, that which is needed in the difficult times we're facing. And you can count on the steady and trusted leadership of Roosevelt Skerritt. And ladies and gentlemen, I am sure that you have taken note of the formidable lineup of women on this new Labour Party team. And let me tell you something. When it comes to taking care of families and moving mountains and getting the job done, we women, we do not play! One of my favorites among her accomplishments was a direct flight to Miami. And when I was expressing my excitement to her, she said, I'm not done yet. We're going for New York City next. Your votes, ladies and gentlemen, for the Dominica Labor Party will give Denise Charles the mandate that she needs to build a more secure future for each and every one of you of this constituency. Do not take anything for granted. It is not enough to say you support her and we win already. This election, your support only counts if you go and cast that vote for Denise Charles and the Dominica Labour Party. The choice is clearer than it has ever been. On December 6th, it is nothing other than the Dominica Labour Party. Labour! So Freya, I thank you. Good night, and may God bless you. December 6, put your hand in her ear. She's a hard-working pal rep. So if you love your pal rep and you come to fire, you want to sing with me? One, get ready to sing. Two, get ready to sing. One, two, one, two, three, we go in. Hand in the air now. The people, man. If you want in for me, it's a scary. Let's go sing.
for me for Dennis Charles. Everybody in the Sufuya constituency voting for Dennis Charles say, we going all the way. We going. Dennis is the best choice. Dennis is the best choice. Rosso Central, all the way. Melissa is the best choice. Melissa is the best choice. Rosso South, all Shakira is the best choice. Somebody scream! Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. I 
represented the Dominican Labour Party in both the St. Joseph constituency and now in the Grand Bay constituency. Put your hands together, Shagwabe, for the Honorable Dr. Vince Henderson. Thank you. Thank you. I want to say thank you to my former pal rep and my former student, Kelvadaru, who is representing us in New York. I want to say a special good evening to all of you. Labor rights. Well, Dennis, you owe me one. You helped me well during the by-election in Granby. And tonight, I have brought down 
all of the Grand Bay constituency here in Sufuye. We have, we have, we have a massive crowd and Sakis at the back. We have Sakis at the back. So we are here in support of Sister Dennis Charles. Now, Dennis Charles, I have known Dennis for over 20 years. I had the opportunity to work with her as your pal rep after Hurricane Maria. And I'll tell you a little secret. Me and her get plenty of trouble, you know, because she's not easy. When she's representing her people and she wants something for her people, clear the way, though. Dennis was joking. When Dennis tell me I was responsible for relief supplies and she was not getting water for the people of Galion, it's day by you know. And that is the kind of parliamentary representative that you're fortunate to have in the Sufria constituency. But more importantly, I want you to think about this. You have a parliamentary representative who represents your interests, who is there with you when it matters, who is always responding to you. But she's also a formidable minister of government. Not very often you get that combination. But Dennis is a perfect combination of palerep and minister. And I can tell you, she served us as the Minister of Tourism and Small Business at the most difficult time. And I can tell you, the true way to measure someone is to see what they do during difficult times. That's when you know who people are, you know. That's when you know who your friends are, is when things are bad. The same way you get to know the true measure, the true metal of someone in difficult times. And Dennis stood strong with you after the passage of Hurricane Maria. But she, str she stood even stronger with you during the COVID-19 pandemic. And I can tell you, when I came in to the cabinet, we served together on a number of committees. And she was always ready to work. Nothing was ever too much for her. We work on the COVID subcommittee. She also played a very important role, not only in small business, but in agriculture, in trade. And she continued to play a very important role. And this is why on December 6, I don't only want you to make Dennis win, you know. I want you to give her a victory that will reward her for hard work. Because she worked hard the last three years, but she has more work to do from December 7th. Because we are set on a path of development. We have a lot of work to do in to ensure that we can develop Dominica. And I can tell you again, let's think about it, you know. In the most difficult pandemic the world have ever seen, Dennis spearheaded our initiatives to ensure that we have a direct flight out of Miami. And today, we can take an American airline flight to leave Douglas Charles and get straight into Miami. And this has made travel so much easier for us. But more importantly, it has helped us to expand the tourism sector. Because even after the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have seen an increase in movements, people coming into Dominica from the United States. And you have to understand that your pal rep had a very big part to play in that. But we have more work to do, Dennis. We have an international airport to build. And sometimes we talk, and by the way, some people are there playing movie, Maka votes and played movie for all kinds of things. But yo, we have serious work to do. We have serious work to do. And you must stop getting distracted with those little things. We have work to do. 
Because think about it. Building an international airport for one million East Caribbean dollars. You know how many zeros behind that one? That is a lot of zeros, you know. But you know the amount of work it takes to do that? You have to give your government a chance to do the work that matters, that can help to transform Dominica. Because once we have that international airport, it means that we can expand the tourism sector. We can see more people coming to Dominica, more people spending money in Dominica. We can earn better income, and we can help to improve the lives of every Dominican. That is the hard work that we have to do. And this is why we need you to turn up and vote. Get away from this labor we need, have no competition. No, we want a resounding victory so that we can concentrate on the work that we have to do. We've seen the development here in, in the Sufwea constituency. But as we seek to expand the tourism sector, there are so many things that we have to do. There's a lot of work to be done because you have, you have here a resource that can help to transform these communities so that you can earn better living. And that is what we have to focus on. In small business development, I have seen Dennis work and I know that the commitments that we've given to small business owners and what we have approved in the last budget, we still have a lot of, a lot of work to do, Dennis. We have to implement the special facility for the productive sector. The value added so that some of you who have your small businesses at your home, where you do your agro-processing, your juicing, so that we can create special facilities in places like Grand Bay in Geneva Estate, so that we can help you to reduce the cost of doing business so that you can have more money in your pocket. That is the kind of work that we have to do. And for me, I don't know what the Prime Minister has for me, but I must continue working to ensure that we can reduce the price of electricity in Dominica. Geothermal energy development, we have not been talking much about it, but it has the potential to transform Dominica, to reduce the cost of doing business, so that our fishermen, in the storage of their fish, in the processing of their fish, we can make it cheaper, so that you can have more money in your pockets. That is what governments should do. The role of governments is to create opportunities so everyone can benefit. So that every Dominican will have the opportunity to achieve their fullest potential. So that we can see in our communities the kind of vibrant life that we'd love to see. So that when Dennis comes with a Kone Kondla, people have money in their pocket, they can go and spend and enjoy it. But there's no point in having a fet and people don't have money. And this is why your government is working to create these opportunities for you. And I am excited about the future of Dominica. Because so far, we have invested over 20 million US dollars developing cheaper energy in Dominica. And I want to talk about this a little. Just allow me another two minutes on that. Because there are countries that are bigger than us, that are much more advanced economically than us. And yet the people are crying because of the price of electricity. So we are not alone in this high electricity cost. We understand that our dumb like bills are too high. But we have a plan and we are working on it to ensure that by the end of 2024, we can reduce the cost, the price of electricity in Dominica to every family. But in order to achieve that, it takes serious leadership, you know. And this is why we've presented to you the team for a very difficult time. Very difficult times ahead, globally, not just in Dominica. And this is why our political leader, our prime minister, has selected the best team for this time. And and you, you heard the power from Petit Savan. You heard Honorable 
the foe. You know he's part rep already. Because there's no contest in the 37 constituency. So you heard the man. Tell me if this is not a serious man that can take on any ministry in government. But more importantly, you heard of his passion. You heard of his passion for the fisher folk, for the fishers in Scotshead, in Soufouye, in Point Michel. You heard how he spoke about them. He even knew them by their names. That is the kind of quality representatives and the quality candidates that we have in this 2022 election. So tell me, if you were the other side, you would contest? Boys not hide, you're going to hide now? When you see that kind of team, what are you going to do? Is hide, you have to go and hide. But I am urging you, don't mess with your votes. Don't mess with your votes. And our Prime Minister is not here yet. Oh, he's here? Oh, well, I, I didn't want him to hear that, you know. You think I should still say it? I didn't want him to hear. Because I want us, all of us liberals, to give Roosevelt's carrot a resounding victory on December 6th. Because, because under his leadership, labor has delivered for you. Under his leadership, we've been able to stand strong today, even after being hit down by the worst natural disaster of our generation. Sometimes we take it for granted, you know. Sometimes the thing happens so easily. It looks easy. It looks easy. And I hear people talking. I want to say this. Because I heard somebody talk about the World Bank and international organizations that assist us. But they're not helping us because they like us. They're not giving us assistance because they have to. They give us assistance because our prime minister and your government know how to negotiate. We know how to represent the interests of the Dominican people so that we can help to develop this country. And this is what you're voting for. This is what you're voting for. You're voting for people who can represent Dominica. Who know how to go out. Because think about it. There are other countries that were also devastated by Hurricane Maria and Hurricane Irma. But Dominica has done better than all of them in the region. And this didn't happen because the international community likes Dominica. It didn't happen because they had to help Dominica. It happened because we have the best leadership in Dominica. But I know that tonight is Dennis' night. And Dennis, Dennis, your pal rep. Way more day. But, but what happened to her now? I will good for you when I meet you tomorrow. But I am going to, I, am, I have the responsibility to introduce your pal rep. But before I do that, before I do that, what she didn't know, and I'm sure her mother will tell her, you know it's my father that made that song, Point Michelle Girls Are The Best. But I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> but tonight, it is my pleasure, my pleasure and honor, I feel it a privilege to introduce to you one of the hardest working members of parliament and dedicated minister in this Dominican Labour Party administration. You have heard what I have said about Dennis Charles, and you know me, and Dennis knows me. I say what on my mind. I don't butter it, I don't cover it, I tell it just as I tell it. And she can tell you that, because I tell her some things too, when she was making trouble for you. But I respect her. 
I respect her because she was fighting for you. And I respect her because in spite of our often disagreements, we work well together. We work well together because that is the labor family. And when we come and we present a candidate to you, like Dennis Charles, you should have no hesitation. No hesitation. And this is why it is my pleasure to introduce the DLP candidate for the Superior Constituency. The Honorable, the Honorable, Dennis Charles. What a sea of red! Labor is large and in charge! Sufuye so constituency is large and in charge! Grand Bay and Portsmouth, watch out! Because the Sufre constituency will give Labour the most votes! Hey, hey. Let me say a pleasant good night to my colleagues, especially Honorable Vince Henderson, my chairman, and Dr. Daru, who has been with me on the grounds. Special greetings to my family, my mother, my father, and my brothers who are here. To all those of you from di different villages who came here to support me, thank you, I love you. And to the people after my own heart, the people of Scotland, Galio, Sufure, and Point Michel. Tonight, my people, I want us to reflect. I want us to reflect on the transformation of Dominica, from where we have come from, all that we have endured. And look at our achievements today. We have a lot to be proud about. So I want you to blow your horn. Blow your horn for the Dominica Labour Party. skillfully guided, guided us through it all and is still the best choice for Dominica. Blow your horn for your visionary, dynamic Prime Minister. Who is still the best choice for Dominica? Blow your horn for yourself. 
my, my kind, loving, and loyal constituents. When I reflect on the transformation of our constituency under this Dominican Labour Party government, we have to be thankful. We made a wise decision in 2005 to vote the Dominican Labour Party and we have not regretted that decision. Blow your hand! We are, we are true labor rights. It has not been an easy journey for us, but I always say that we are very blessed in this constituency because all the stalwarts who started this journey are still standing firm with labor. And I can tell you, I have been able to lean on them. We are a labor family. Who we voted? Who we voted? It is that genuine family love I see. When I see my seniors, my youth, men and women, night after night, coming out on motorcades with me to every constituency to give their firm support to Roosevelt Skerritt and the Dominica Labour Party. Labor, 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 Labor. And that is what makes me more determined to work hard to secure your future. Recently, an opposition supporter in Point Michel said to me, Pile Rep, I am on the train this time. Because when I think of it, it is only you I see in. I said to him, that is exactly it. If anything happens in the community, it also affects me. I am from La Puerte. I am a Shala I can be found. I can be found at the same address. Even if my father give me maple for it. At the home of Sonia Francis Charles. My commitment to build the constituency on the foundation set by Ian Pinard and Sam Martin is unwavering. My mission in politics has never been about self-promotion, but about uplifting and empowering my people so their catch of the day can be sold so my fish of mong fishmongers will no longer have to go up to La Plaine to sell their fish. And that is why I am building that fishing processing plant in Scotland. So our youth, our youth can have a sound education and successful careers. And that is why I opened the resource center in Scott's Head so that our primary school students can get help with their homework 
and mentors to assist them with their projects. Our hard working taxi and tour operators, vendors can make money. Our great sportsmen and women can excel in their sporting disciplines. And our small business owners can grow and expand. I am here to help you have a brighter tomorrow. So your standard of living can be improved and you can properly provide for yourself and your family. When Hurricane Maria struck Dominica, our constituency was one of the most hardest hit. 95% of homes in the constituency were damaged, severely damaged or destroyed. Many families were in shelters, homeless and devastated after losing their homes, which they saved over 25 years to build. Many people didn't have insurance or were underinsured. But this Labour Party government didn't abandon you. We, we didn't leave you stranded and we have never turned our backs on you. Never turned our backs on our people like the United Worthless Party. Look at how they abandoned their supporters after every disaster. They once again abandoned the general elections. This should send a clear message to every one of you that they are not interested in your bread and butter issues. The only time they need you is to demonstrate and create mayhem in Dominica. They never come to you to discuss ideas or have a little community meeting or just to say hello. These out of touch politicians, recycled out of touch politicians, are only interested in power. Don't let them fool you with their fancy talk about electoral reform. They can't win the ballot. They can't win the election by the ballot. So they want to change the rules. Hoping that it would help them win or distract you from their poor performance. But Dio, we are for electoral reform too. And with electoral reform, will continue to give them a volley. My people, we must stay focused. I heard they elected a new leader, a man who a abandoned Dominica after Hurricane Maria brought us to our knees. And his new big idea is still electoral reform. Electoral reform for them is not how to put bread on your table or how to cover your roof or build you a new home. 
it is how to get them in power. Plain and simple. It is about them and not about you. But I want to let every Dominican know tonight that the house of labor has many, many rooms. Come home to labor. All shall eat. So, my people, we must ensure on December 6th that these deserters remain in the political wilderness which they place themselves. The polls, we are placing a permanent ban on the politics of hate, lies, and gossip in Dominica. So, housing remains one of our most critical needs in the Sufre constituency. I have many homes to build and repair still. We, however, cannot forget that we were the first village to benefit from the sustainable housing program. 10 homes were built in Union Estate Prime Michel, ensuring that 10 families are safe and secured. Another 20 homes were built throughout the constituency and over 100 homes repaired, whilst other families received building materials. So, even if we have more homes to build, what I can assure you is that this government is committed to your well-being and welfare. And I, I will not rest until every family in my constituency feels safe and secured, especially when it is raining. That is why Despite the challenges created for us by COVID, despite the fact that government revenues fell, and all the other economic challenges, the Prime Minister approved immediate construction of 48 homes, 16 in Point Michel and 22 in Scott's Head. And you know what is even better? All these homes are being built by our very own contractors. <laughs> Additionally, he has approved 15 homes to be built in Sufre, Galio, and Scott said. And I hear you point, Michelle, but we will be building homes on, on your lots in Point Michelle as well. So wait for that. My people, many people want the title of Prime Minister. But how many of them 
can walk in the shoes of Dr. Roosevelt Scarrett. It's my beer for me. Yeah. I want you to tell me which Caribbean leader after grappling with COVID-19 is spending millions of dollars building homes for their people? Which one? The only one is the Dominica Labour Party government. Leadership is everything. This is why it's important that everyone who is eligible to vote must go to their polling station on December 6th and show the world, show everybody that we are proud of our Prime Minister, that we are proud of the work of the Dominica Labour Party government. And we have to tell them without a shadow of a doubt that Labour is still the best choice for Dominica. And that is why the UWP has stayed away from the polls. Because they have nothing a year to offer you. Realizing that they had reacted too hastily, but are ashamed to admit it. They are trying to enter the elections through the back door under the disguise of independent candidates. But we will cheer them and teach them a lesson on December 6th. Labor, 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 labor. Tell that to your neighbor. Labor, labor. To vote Labor is to say that you endorse the policies and programs of the Dominica Labour Party. To vote for Labour is to say that you support the National Employment Program. And by the way, I have so many of you employed in that program. And I can boast that I have the best NDP teams on island. So, even during COVID, whilst we had to halt on certain projects, I ensured everyone who wanted a job got employed. So I'm saying to you, vote at the polls for your two years contract in January. Which will give you the power to approach any financial institution. You can get your loan now. Vote for labor is to say, is to endorse the pensions for seniors and 5% increase in January. The Yes We Care program that ensures our seniors live the rest of their days in dignity. To vote 
for labor is to say that you support the development of the international airport. Which will have many endless job opportunities for all of you. So get ready. Even airport coming, so never we voting. It is to support the marina, the new cruise terminal, new Benders Arcade, and the building of a modern city under. Melissa Popon Scarrett. To vote for labor is to say that you support the modernization of our tourism sites, the new facility which will be built on the Mon in Scotshead, Champagne Beach facility in Point Michel, Soufrié Sulphur Springs development, Mero, Mero Beach, Cabrit, Woodford Hill development, Matutu's Park in Grand Bay. And the most talked about project that is going to put Dominica firmly on the map, the longest cable car in the world in Rosa Valley. And understand this, all these things will bring more visitors, more jobs, and more foreign exchange to our country. More people coming to Dominica to spend money in our communities. To vote for labor is to say you support pursuing more direct flights. And you heard Melissa tonight, the work is not done even before our international airport is completed. We want direct flights from New York. To vote for labor is to support the digital transformation of our country, to create more jobs for our youth, and to make it easier for investors to do business in Dominica. To vote for labor is to continue the empowerment of micro, small, and medium businesses. Especially those in the creative industries. And my people from Galio, I have said to you countless times, let us package our cashews. We are the only place in Dominica producing cashews, and we have to package it to take to the shelves in Dominica and sell to visitors. And by this government investing in creative industries, and agriculture, we will reduce our import and increase our export to other, other source markets. To vote for labor is to endorse the university, a university graduate per, per household policy. Educational assistance programs transportation allowance, uniform allowance, free textbooks, keeping money in the pockets of our people. But it costs 
the government money to do so. The government has to pay all the vendors you are going to collect your textbooks and uniforms from. So let us continue those programs which help support our families, especially our single mothers. To vote for labor is to vote for the restructuring of the organizational structure of primary schools, just like we did for secondary schools. And to build state-of-the-art secondary schools all over Dominica. Goodwill on is coming. Grammar school has started. To vote for labor is to endorse our resilient health and wellness centers and our two brand new state-of-the-art hospitals in Goodwill and Marigot. And right here in Sufria, you can boast that you have your type 3 health and wellness center. So anytime you are sick, you can go to the health center. It is open. It's my PM family. Yeah. But I want Rosso and Grandpa to get their health and wellness center too. To vote for labor is to support the vision of building the first climate resilient country. We can boast of two jetties, in, one in Sufria and one in Scotland. And people can talk and say it is funded by foreign government organizations. But I can tell you, when I became PALREP, the German government on the CATS program was about to cancel that project. And it is because of my hard work strengthening the relationship between them and the government and representing you because I know how long you have been waiting for those jetties. That is why you have that jetty today. And it is because of the confidence that Daniel has in the vision plan for the Sufre constituency that he partnered with me to build that jetty in Scotland. We can boast about the new Lyu Bridge and the new Boadiab Road or even the Lubia to Bagatelle Road. But Look at what recently happened in the East. The millions it will take to rebuild those communities. Which government can do that? Climate change is real. Huh? To vote labor is to support Sporting development. Our playing field in Sufria. And I can tell you, the grading of the Brooklyn playing field started today. Your multi purpose court in Point Michel is almost complete. And I am happy to do so. Because I know we have some of the best players in football, cricket, and volleyball. So, to vote for labor is to support the continued development 
an expansion of our communities so we can build stronger families in Point Michel, in Gallio, in Sufria, in Scotshead, in Dominica. So, I ask you to pause. Think for a minute. Close your eyes if you have to. What would happen to Dominica without Roosevelt, Skerritt, and the Dominica Labour Party? It's my PM for me. Yeah. It would be total darkness and chaos because the opposition has showed you they have no plans, no vision, no ability to sustain all these programs and projects that I have mentioned. They have no friends in the region or the international community. And that is why they are not in this election. To vote for Labour is to say loudly and firmly that we are moving our country forward. So on December 6, let us not gamble with our future and the future of our children and unborn children. Let us not be fooled by candidates who show up just before an election and disappear after. Where is the candidate who ran against me in the last election? My friends, my neighbors, colleagues, election, elections, a serious business. Don't let anyone fool you with nice words and false promises. Don't make people make puppy show with your life. The, the Dominica Labour Party government is the only government who has made serious investments in the development of its people and country. So let us go to the polls to vote, to continue the progress we have made since Hurricane Maria, and to continue the journey to dynamic Dominica. This is Tommy Nickel's season to shine. This is the Sufria constituency season to shine even brighter. This is Tommy Nickel's time to progress to prosper in peace. So every vote counts because every vote is a vote for Dominica. So go out as a family to vote. Make sure you call your friends to vote. Both those in the Sufria constituency and those in other constituencies. Vote for your future. Vote for Dominica. And may the king of glory come in and make our days in Dominica even more glorious. One love, one love, my people. This is our 
our season of peace and prosperity. I love you. Still to come, labor rights, still to come, we have the first serenade band. But before, before this entertainment, we have one more speaker. And I present to you our political leader, the parliamentary representative for the Vegas constituency. Put your hands together. Go. Hold on the way, hold on the way, hold on the way. Hold on the way, liberal rights, hold on the way, liberal rights. We have a surprise for you. Are you ready for a surprise? Are you ready for a surprise? We shall not be, we shall not be more. We shall not be, we shall not be more. Just like the trees that break it by the waters. Labor party shall not be more. Labor! Where my labor do? Let it up, let it up, let it up, let it up, let it up. When I see labor, I see victory. I don't even want to I am for what 
Time for Jesse. I ain't not leaving my party to go and talk nobody. Party. Yesterday, yesterday morning, I performed in New York City. Yesterday morning, and then I got a call to perform for labor in Batica. They say I cannot make it. They say it wouldn't be able. Esa cannot make it. But then it was under your ministry, under how ministry? And the leader of the Dominica Labour Party. I got that straight flight from Miami to Dominica. I love my Labour Party. I love my Labour Party. We are living for the body. I love my Labour Party. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where my grand back you? Sufuya! What's on? Look at the camera! Let's go! 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 let us go Development in the nation, my PM. Mr. Prince Anderson, Labour is the best choice. Mary, if you love your Labour Party, one, two, one, two, let's go. Labour is the best choice. One more, one more. 
not our fault. Their party need a repair. It's not our fault. Their party wasn't prepared. All of them run after Maria. Guess who said? Dominica! Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very late. But I am very happy to be here in the most wonderful constituency of Dominica. You know, I have always wanted to be the power of Postal Fair. But I believe one day, one day I'll become the power apostle of prayer. We have, we have the most wonderful people in this constituency. When they say they with you, they with you. They will give you your mepui, but they will stay with you. And this is the people we have in this constituency. And this is one of the reasons why I love you so much in this constituency. And so tonight, I am here to endorse the candidacy of Dennis Charles, our hardworking power rep and minister. Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis has been a phenomenal minister of tourism for Dominica over the years. And she has also done well as a power rep for this constituency. And I have no doubt that come on December 6, you will send a resounding, a resounding message to the world that the super constituency is staying with Dennis Charles and the Dominica Labour Party. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know that in this constituency, Labor has delivered to you. And you know for a fact that Roosevelt Skerritt always have your back in that constituency. And I give you the assurance tonight that all of the plans and programs which are on the way and which Dennis has indicated will come in the future we'll get the blessings of Roosevelt Skerritt and the Dominican Labour Party. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the, this election is a serious business. I have said to us on remit, repeated occasions that voting is not like playing the scratch-scratch. 
It is not like going in the blast and pressing buttons and if you win, you're happy. If you don't win, you're vexed. When you make a decision to vote, you're voting for the next five years of your life and that of your family. And five years is a long time to regret a decision. Because our grandparents always told us, how you make your bed, that is how you will sleep on it. And the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, the only serious party in Dominica, the only party that cares for the people of Dominica is the Dominica Labour Party. This is why they can say what they want. They can ask all of the questions they want. They can make all of the statements they want. The answer will come back. Labour is still the best choice for Dominica. Labour is still the best choice for Dominica, ladies and gentlemen, because you know in difficult times, Labour has always been there for the people of Dominica. It is Labour who has been transforming this country in every sector of our economy. The others, all they're doing is seeking to destroy our country, to give our country a bad name, and to undermine the opportunities for young people in this country. You have seen what I've done in the selection of candidates, last election and this election. I continue to embrace the young sons and daughters of Dominica, the young people whom labor has sent out to study at universities, because I recognize that they have talent and skills, and I want them to make a contribution at the national level. Labour Party cares for the young people of Dominica. And this is why I am seeing so many thousands of young Dominicans following the Labour Party and saying to Dominicans all over the world, here included, that they're sticking with the Dominican Labour Party because that is the only party that cares for the young people of this country. Because we understand and appreciate the contribution, the positive contribution that young people can make. And so the future, the future of our young people is safer with the Dominica Labour Party. And so this is why, ladies and gentlemen, we all have to go out and vote on December 6th. We cannot say in Sufre that Dennis has won. We cannot say in Grand Bay that Vince has won. We can't say in Rosa South that Secura has won. We can't say in Rosa Central that, the, that Medisa has won. We have to go out and put our eggs next to the shoe and give us a resounding victory in every one of those constituencies, ladies and gentlemen. We may not be happy with everything, but that is not a reason not to vote. Because we are voting for the next five years, ladies and gentlemen. And you know that labor has always been there for the people of Dominica. Especially in difficult times. The world is going through difficult times, trying times, uncertain times. And you need to ensure that there is stability in the country. This is why we're saying to you in this election that stability is key. You want to ensure that you have experienced people leading the country in difficult times. The other option you have is confusion. Confusion from the Workers' Party. A party that's not interested in people. A party that's seeking to undermine every single thing we do for the people of Dominica. And they want to come into government. We say no way. And you see, I keep saying to us, as I said in Bataka last night, that the Lord works in mysterious ways. Sometimes we don't understand how the, Lord's wo how the Lord works. And the Lord has decided that these people are not good for Dominica. And that he says to them that he did not, he did not want them in the parliament of Dominica. That is why he did not get them to be candidates themselves in this election. 
Because we need a spirit and a culture of peace and brotherhood and sisterhood. Away with the hate and hatred in our country and replacing with love and camaraderie. This is the Dominica we know. But these people have brought division and hatred between sister and sister and between brother and brother. We have to give the young people a better environment to build a future. An environment where we all live as brothers and sisters and in the true spirit of being our, our neighbor's keeper. This is what this election is about. This is what the national reset is about. Ensuring that we have serious men and women, people who are consciously and consciously, conscientiously concerned about the welfare and well-being of Dominica. And I give you this solemn promise here in this constituency that labor will always be there with you and for you. Will always be there with you and for you. And so let us go out on election day and vote for Dennis Charles and the Dominica Labor Party. But what I have been seeing, what I have been seeing in the Sufre constituency, what I have been seeing in the Grand Bay constituency, what I have been seeing in the Rosa Central constituency, what I have been seeing in the Rosa South constituency and the Rosa North constituency, I am certain. I am certain that labor is going to take all, all, all the seats, ladies and gentlemen. All the seats. And you know, what is comforting to me in this election is that I am seeing a number of Porto UWP in full red saying, saying that they're fed up with what their party has been doing for Dominica. And they're saying to the country that they're embracing the ideals and the philosophy of the Dominica Labour Party. And we embrace them because they're Dominicans too. We embrace them and welcome them to the Labour Party family. Working together to build this country. To overcome our challenges. To ensure that we can build homes and provide decent housing for as many families as possible. This is our commitment. And I keep saying to you, the people of Dominica, that what I want for myself, my family, my children, is the same I want for you and your family and your children. This is the Labour Party. A party has taken Dominica from ashes to where it is today. Notwithstanding the challenges that we have faced with natural disasters, this Labour Party has delivered for the people of Dominica. There's no other party that can contest this. And you here in the Sufre constituency, when you look at what has been done here, everything we, that has been done in Sufre, Labour has done it for you in this constituency. Everything. All our roads were bad in the entire Sufre constituency from, from Point Michel down to Scott said. And labor built road by road to improve access to this constituency. Building homes for the people. Building infrastructure. Creating jobs. Providing support to the fishermen. Subsidizing the price of gasoline for the fishermen. Ensuring that your economic activity can be sustained. And you can feed yourself and your family. Improving the facility at the fisheries complex in Roseau where most of your fisher ladies sell the fish. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we have every good reason to vote for the Dominican Labour Party in this election. Every one of us, every one of us can count reasons why we're voting for Labour. Whether it's a personal touch on ourselves, or if our family member, or our community, or our country, Labor has touched every single family in this country. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we have work to do. There's a lot of work to be done because there's still many of you who are waiting for a decent home. A decent home. And I give you the assurance that this will happen, ladies and gentlemen. Well, 
Well, if you want, you know, before you become a minister, you have to become elected. So go and vote on December 6th. Vote on December 6th. Every Dominican. There's no, there's no option in this election. There's no other option. It is either you voting or you're not voting. And it's important that every one of us vote on election day. That is my message to you tonight. We all know of the achievements of this lower party. We all know of the many projects that are ongoing. The ministers here, the power reps here, the candidates have told you tonight. But for these things to continue, for this thing to be secured, you should go out. You have to go out and vote on December 6th. And so, my dear friends, take your family on election day very early in the morning and go out and vote. All we're looking for, we're looking for big things. All we're looking for is a shoe and we put our X next to the shoe. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. So by midday on December 6th, we would have won all 21 seats in Dominica. 21 seats in Dominica. Because the people of Dominica have recognized that for the last 22 years, Labour has, has been the only party working on behalf of Dominica. The others have tried to destroy, burn and destroy, ladies and gentlemen. That is why there's confusion among themselves. Confusion among themselves. Because they believe that they can build a party by hatred and hatred to one person called Roosevelt Skerritt. But they must understand that who jobless no man can curse. They have tried every single thing to attack me, but I am still standing strong, strong, ladies and gentlemen. Strong because of the blessings of the Lord and the prayers from the thousands of warriors who pray for me every single day. So ladies and gentlemen, I shall continue to use all my energy and my zeal at the service of the people of Dominica. That is my commitment, my love for you, my love for your children, my love for this country. I will continue to work to make life better for every single one of you in this country. This is what I leave and wake up for in the morning. Finding solutions to the challenges, raising the required funds to build Dominica. Look at us after Hurricane Maria. Every single Dominican felt that Dominica was finished, that we would never recover. We had lost hope and confidence. And in just a short two years, we were standing on our feet by the grace of God. This could only happen by a party that cares for people. Cares for people. We here in Sufria constituency, we voted freedom for 15 years. And before that, DUPP. But Freedom Party never built no home in Sufria for us. Not one house. Because the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, it is not the responsibility of a government to build house for anybody. But Labour Party has been doing so in every single village, every single constituency in Dominica. Because we are a compassionate party, a party that cares for people, understand their suffering and their pain and circumstance. And even when we build homes for people, there are some who criticize us. But that's fine. That is fine. We'll continue to do good and do even more good, more they criticize us, ladies and gentlemen. So, I am, I feel good. I can tell you, I feel good. I feel good because I see that the masses of Dominica are still with the Dominica Labour Party. And you know, and I feel good because I know I see some of you here. I know you all, you could, you could vex, you could something, but you dare in your right saying, we feel labor. I know some of you, bye, 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 bye. But once the election announced, 
You standing firm with the Dominican Labour Party. I see some of you in the crowd there who are saying, I don't vote, I wasn't voting, I wasn't voting. But you dare every night letting people know that the little differences we have is not big enough to stop the Labour Party. I don't call the names tonight, you know. I was watching all you. I don't call the names. I don't call the names at all. I was watching all you. All you know, all, all, I know all you, you know, you know, I know all you. But that is what Labour Party is about. We voting for country. We voting for community. We voting for constituency. We putting people first. That's what it is. So yes, we are, that is why we call ourselves a family. This is the labor family. That in a family, everything not going to always be right. You understand what I'm saying? Everything will be always right. But at the end of the day, we are still a family, ladies and gentlemen. And so we are joining hearts and minds. We are joining hearts and minds and working together to take ourselves across the river to continue to work for the development of Dominica. Because you know, even if you vex your labor for a little something here and there and so forth, you know that labor is still the best choice for Dominica, ladies and gentlemen. You know that. So we have decided we're putting all the little things aside. All the little things aside. And after the election, we will deal with them. But now we are voting for Dominica, ladies and gentlemen. So, I know you want to tell Dennis something there, you know. Most of you have to tell Dennis something But you can't tell him about this set. You can't tell him about Dennis. But very much you. So we can buy me people that this this there's some set in it. I know, and I know you're telling me Paul for Rosa. Well, Melissa, Melo, this is my seven. I know case, but you here in Rosa Central always in full force. And I know you in Rosa the sent south, just send a little WhatsApp message to the grung pal rep. Where you tell her, look, the little things we have, the little problem we have. This is my seven. Mugali, I'll vote for you again because you are the best person for the job in Rosa South. <laughs> and the same thing you're telling Vincent Grand Bay. But you know that Vince is the best man for the job in Grand Bay at this time. They were, they were, they were, they were. If you want to say, you can't say, you can't say, you can't say, I love you very much, my friends. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You are the, you are the best in the world and we will always continue to work hard for you because of your loyalty your commitment your sincerity your steadfastness and your love for the Dominica Labour Party and you are demonstrating that level of support that love because you know that labor is still the best choice. And some people telling me tonight there in Portsmouth, 
That's scared you saying about labor is still the best choice. But the truth is, labor is the only choice. Labor is the only choice in this election for Dominica. Only choice. So God bless you, my friends. Work well. We are a party of peace and love. Drive safely. God bless you and your family. God bless Dominica. God bless the Dominica Labor Party. We are going all the way with the Dominica Labor Party on December 6th. All the way. All the way. Thank you very much.
When you're all the children, we'll forsake you I will always stand up for my truth 